Welcome back to the Tangled Threads podcast. I'm your host, Fiona Harvey. In today's episode, we explore the initial red flags and doubts Pandora faced about David's sincerity. This is a story of intuition, fear, and the struggle to trust. The dance continued as such. Text messages back and forth, unexpected calls, a small chat and a giggle, an appointment made but never kept. Pandora went along with it for a while. She felt pity for this young man who seemed to want to talk to her but couldn't bring himself to cross the finish line. It was all very strange. And then there was the feeling of being watched, of being observed. She could just imagine him in army attire, lurking in the bushes or lying there for hours in the high grass of her overgrown garden, just watching her for hours. And what? did he see? A lonely woman in her late forties, just sitting there, trying to survive the chaos. She was a single mom with three kids, twice divorced. Her first ex-husband, David, was high maintenance and a true narcissist. He had married Pandora when they were young. He turned out to be gay or not really attracted to women, which deeply hurt Pandora in her own sexual confidence. He was also the father of her first two children and he continued to plague her, showing up unexpectedly throwing sissy fits all over the place. Her eldest definitely got his anger issues from his father. And then there was Graham, her current partner. They had been married at one point. It only lasted a year. Yet they couldn't let go of each other. Their relationship continued like a hushed affair. And she, she had no friends, no activities, no network. Only two to three times a week, she would go out for an intense workout at the gym and then straight back home again, like clockwork. Surely he couldn't be watching that. I mean, how boring. And then came the anxiety and the paranoia. I mean, just a moment. She was letting this guy watch her and she had no clue who he was or if he had any mental issues, just like her eldest. I mean, there had to be a reason why he had ended up in that youth centre to start with. And she would never know unless she got the chance to speak to him, to talk to him and see how deep his inner depths go. She soon realised another thing. Each time she made an appointment with young David, she was actually guaranteeing him that she would be at home waiting for him. So he knew where she would be at that specific time. The realisation chilled her to the bone and she decided there and then to turn the tables, to take matters into hand. And so she did. She played more transparently. She told him in a next text that she didn't want to set any more appointments to meet up because he had a tendency not to keep his appointments. And this was starting to make her look a bit loopy 
in the eyes of her partner. There, she had said it to him. She had a partner. She was not a totally single mother. She was just a part-time single mother. And his reaction was cool. He didn't know she had a partner. And was she happy with him? What was missing? Aha, this was the first red flag that raised in Pandora's head. What was missing? Now, that is inside information. If he knows what her pain points are, where Graham isn't meeting her expectations, then he can market himself perfectly to her. He can tailor his message more specifically to her to make her believe how he could fill that void. She was very alert now and convinced even more that young David had a hidden agenda. She needed to find out what. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Tangled Threads. Stay tuned for the next episode where we dive deeper into Pandora's journey and the unravelling of her tangled life. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider supporting me. Like and share with your network or leave a comment if inspired. Until next time, untangle your threads and find your peace.